so many birds, you can literally not even hear what the person in front of you is saying with all of these birds. All kinds of social hour for the birds. All of the birds of Australia have come to this park tonight. Hi there, I'm Steph Taylor and welcome to my channel. I recently went to Australia for the first time and I had a chance to experience being around animals that I've been wanting to meet ever since I was a kid. Really wish I would have spent more than just a week there. A week is not long enough in Australia, but given the short amount of time that I was there, I still managed to see quite a few animals. My trip began in Brisbane where I stayed with one of my friends, Chelsea. She goes by Yo Pickles on all the things. She took me on a jungle hike to Tambourine Mountain, which was really cool. I'll leave the link right here if you're interested in seeing that. So to start off, let me just tell you a little bit about how Chelsea and her husband have their own animal kingdom in their backyard. Just to begin, I'm gonna play you a soundbite of what I woke up to at four o'clock in the morning. That, my friends, is a kookaburra. So the funny thing about Australia is that all of the birds wake up in layers, kind of like dance music. First, you've got your kookaburras. Then about a half hour later, you've got your lorikeets. Then after that, the crows chime in. And then you've got the magpies and the butcher birds. And then by 6 a.m., you've gone full-blown bird rave. Good morning. Well, hello. Are you a kookaburra? Oh my goodness. What's everybody doing this morning? Good day. Good day. Good day. The birds in my friend Chelsea's backyard are pretty special. There's this one bird in particular she named Brave. He's not shy. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. Thank you for the song. Every morning she walks into her backyard and it's just like a scene straight out of Snow White. No joke. You walk into her backyard and there's a wallaby, just chilling. And all these different birds have a lot to say to you. Right behind her house in this neighborhood is this hiking trail. So we went on a short hike to go see some more wallabies. And I've already spotted some wallabies. Wallabies! Oh, there he goes. There he goes. We're actually not sure if the wallabies are kangaroos. We've been they're debating bigger, it. Yeah. They're like fat kangaroos. Yeah, they're, they're, they're little. There they go. Like pygmy. Yeah, pygmy kangas. So people always say that Australia is a really dangerous place to visit. And you well, know, yeah. they're scared of snakes and spiders, but in America you have bears that will eat your face off, <laughs> cougars that will stalk you, rattlesnakes, alligators. So yeah, I don't point. understand why why Australia is more dangerous. How many snakes have you seen in your life? I've seen one snake in my whole life. And spiders for me. I've been here three years and I've seen one semi big one that was twerking on my mom's window. I don't know what it was doing, but it was Get twerking, it. yeah. <laughs> and that was the only big one I saw, and the rest of them are like tiny ones. We're gonna learn some Aussie slang. So, weed whacker? Uh -huh. we, we call that a whippersnipper. 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 Yeah. Okay. French fries. Chips. Yeah, yeah I, I heard about chips. Pacifier. A dummy. I heard one in the airport. Someone was like, remove your jumper. <laughs> <laughs> My sweater? Is a a sweatshirt. Yeah. A sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah. Tennis shoes or sneakers, they call them... Runners? Runners. Runners. Okay, yeah. runners. Pickup truck is a ute. Ute. Yeah. A football is a footy. A footy, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's get into the baby talk. This is the best one. Yeah. Like everything in Australia sounds like super for a toddler. So like cookie would be like bicky, a bicky, yeah, yeah. And even saying like thank you, you can say ta, ta, ta. yeah. <laughs> when you go to the store, you can say ta. 
Sweet or as. I, yeah, sweet as. Yeah. Sweet as. <laughs> So we think this behind me is a kingfisher's nest. If anybody knows, please comment below. But I I heard that it just is a whole bunch of mud that they take and they just pack it, it takes a while. But that's their nest. That's where they put their babies. Next, I went to the koala sanctuary where I got an up close and personal encounter with some furry Aussie friends. I got to snuggle for a brief minute with a koala, but I couldn't keep him very long because they actually can't be held for more than 30 minutes a day at the sanctuary, and that's for their health and well-being. These guys can be found hanging out in eucalyptus trees in Eastern Australia, most likely napping. Koalas sleep for 18 hours a day, and if they aren't snoozing, they're munching on eucalyptus, which is actually poisonous, but koalas have special stomachs that break down the leaves. Another koala fact is that although we call them koala bears, they're actually not a bear at all. They are a marsupial. So the next highlight of my trip, I got to meet my favorite bird in the entire world, and that is the rainbow lorikeet. Lorikeets are all over Australia. You'll find them in the same amounts that you find pigeons in the US, which is kind of funny because when I went over there, I was so excited about these rainbow lorikeets and everybody else was like, yeah, lorikeets, big deal. <laughs> So my very favorite animal encounter in Australia was chilling out with the kangaroos. There had to have been dozens here in this field at the sanctuary. Aww. I'm in kangaroo heaven. Now one interesting fact about kangaroos that I didn't know until I went over there was that kangaroos actually outnumber Australian human residents two to one. There are around 25 million residents in Australia and 50 million kangaroos. Now Australians have actually been encouraged to eat more kangaroo meat as a way of controlling the population. They're so cute and cuddly, why? All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed my fuzzy Aussie friends, please don't forget to give this video a like. And if you wanna see more travel videos, just like this one, I do encourage you to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so that you know when new videos are uploaded and I will catch you guys in the next video. Are you don't ready? smell it. <laughs> don't smell it? Not first. Okay, so what's about to happen? Okay, so this is Vegemite and this is a, is it spread or B vitamins? Spread, yeah. It's a spread. Spread. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. It's really bitter. How is that like good? It's How really can... salty. Why? I know. How can that be like something you crave? <laughs> So one to ten, how gross is it though? Ten being like, that's disgusting. I mean, I don't, I don't hate it. That's a good, what? That's, a, that's the best reaction I think we've ever had. Oh yeah? It just yeah. tastes really salty. When I first tried it, I put it on a spoon. Yeah. And I was just like thinking it was oh like my chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Nope.